Okay, my bold and the beautiful fans, this is a crazy episode. We got to unpack. Taylor calls Sheila's bluff and threaten to confess. Bill and Sheila confess that they're now in love with each other. And Katie is disgusted as she storms over to Bill to confront him and Sheila. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the young and the restless, and the bold and the beautiful. This is your bold and the beautiful recap for January 16th. And without any further ado, let's talk about this craziness in L.A. So now after that whole crazy Friday cliffhanger, we're back over at Bill's and Sheila tells him how much it means to her that he loves her and that that's all she ever wanted, all she ever dreamed of. And of course, with all of this loveness going on, both Steffi and Taylor are appalled as they watch. And Sheila tells Bill that she never thought that their meeting on the beach would lead to this. I love you and you love me. And they stare into each other's eyes. And while all this is still going on, Taylor and Steffi are still in disbelief. And then Steffi blurts out that Sheila knows nothing about love. However, Sheila lays it on really thick in this next scene. And you love me. And I was everything, Bill. I was everything. However, Taylor is not buying this whole thing, not one bit. Only because she says Sheila don't even know how to love. Now, you heard Bill, he loves me. And I love him. He don't know how to love. Stop, both of you. Why can't we just stop this, all right? We are all very much aware of my past. And I have made some, some horrible decisions that I am ashamed of, but I'm not alone, Steffi, with that. No, we've all made mistakes, your mother included. And Taylor made one that I'm sure she will regret for the rest of her life. Bill kept quiet about your mother shooting him. He forgave Taylor and moved on, so why is it going? For the two of you to do the same. I mean, we could just, we could go and live our lives. Steffi, you love my son. And I, I love Bill. We love each other. They say that, that love changes a person. And I already feel that happening for me. Can't we just accept the situation, please? Now, even though Sheila says that there's nothing that they can do and they have no choice but to accept the situation, Taylor isn't so sure about that. There's nothing you can do. I don't know about that. I can confess. I can go to the police. I can tell them what happened all those years ago. I was the one that shot Bill. And then guess what? No more blackmail. And you go to prison for the rest of your life. And after hearing that, Steffi shakes her head. She's not having it. Of course, she knows that her mom will lose everything, but the alternative is worse. And Steffi says, stop blaming herself. Taylor won't let Bill endanger her family, though. Now, Sheila announces that she don't want to see Taylor go to jail. And this is when we see Sheila kind of flip the script and get Taylor now to think about her next moves. Our families. Can you... Imagine your life without your grandchildren, without your daughter or or your son. And from what I understand, Tom really used his mother's guidance right now. Don't you dare use my son and do not talk about him right now. What is he doing? I can't believe you're defending her. Let's just take a minute here, okay? And, And catch breath. Let's start out by acknowledging the fact that the woman standing before you today is not 
the same woman that you feared. Because oh. you've changed. You've heard that before. We're not buying it. No, you believe it or not, it's true. Oh, you know nothing about the truth, Sheila. Sheila, are you threat to you, to your mother, or anyone else? It's true. Because I have everything I've always wanted. And as Sheila and Bill kiss, Steffi and Taylor, who's watching on, have to suppress the urge to vomit. Yeah, I bet. They looked at that and like, oh my God. Well, you guys, we've been seeing that happening for the last two weeks. So I guess Steffi and Taylor get to see it firsthand now. So let's head over to the cliff house where we see Carter and Katie are absolutely confused when Finn tells them that Sheila is free because of Bill. Now Finn explained that he and Steffi are being, what? Blackmailed. Blackmail. Sheila's blackmailing Bill? No. Bill's blackmailing Steffi and me. What? That's what this is all about. Billing us to keep Sheila from paying for the crimes that she committed. Now, Katie can't imagine what he could be using as blackmail, and of course, Finn don't want to talk about it. She also can't imagine what her ex is thinking at this moment. However, she is shocked when Finn tells her that Bill is in a relationship with Sheila. Now, Katie doesn't think Bill is that idiotic enough to be involved with someone as diabolical as Sheila. And then we see Taylor and Steffi arrive. And Katie tells them how in disbelief she is and she needs to talk to Bill now. Now, Carter offers to go Go with her but she insists on doing this one alone and everybody is staring baffled by all of this so now back over at bill we see sheila telling him that she guesses that she could have expected what just happened he says that well you know what don't worry about it if something comes up we'll figure it out together and then we see them cuddling and she's so thankful that he survived being shot. They talk about what will people think. And the only time she's ever cared about that was when she wanted her son to accept her. Now, she never thought that Bill, you know, would come along and be the man that she was looking for all these years. And when he's alone, Bill began to think about how much he loves Sheila. However, he's about to receive a very unhappy visitor, his ex. Meeting you, the time we spent together, I finally know what that's supposed to feel like. I love you, Sheila. <gasps> Sheila avoided going back to prison where she belongs. And you're involved, and I don't, I don't understand that. I'm just trying to wrap my head around that, and I can't. So that's why I'm here, because I'm hoping that you can explain it to me. Because you don't do anything without a reason. Steffi and Finn say that you're blackmailing them, and I, I, I don't know why, and I don't really want to know what the specifics are. It, it doesn't matter. I just... I'm just hoping that I can get through to you. And maybe you can help me understand. Now, she thinks she knows him better than he knows himself, and it doesn't make sense to her. How can he defend Sheila and her evil presence? Now, she urges him to think of his son. How can he imagine Sheila being near his child? She teared up, and of course, Katie wishes that she helped when he asked for it, but yeah, but wait for it because... Guess who's there? Sheila, and she's not having it. I know you haven't been yourself lately. And I've been really worried about you. I have, and I know that you you asked me to help you, and I didn't, and I and I wish I could take that back. I wish I could. I'm so, so sorry, but for you to do something like this, I... You're the one who was responsible for getting her arrested, and that was a good thing. That was good. I know what that feels like. I know what it feels like. It's horrible, but I can help 
you. I can help you with that. Don't, don't turn to someone like Sheila Carter. You don't. You don't because she will hurt you. That's all she's good at. That's what she does. You can't allow her into your life and into your home. You can't allow it, Bill. It was too late for that. You passed up on the greatest man alive. And he exposed you to a life that you could never dream of. He's powerful. He's passionate. And he's the love of my life and I'm the love of his. <laughs> the love of his life. Please, just listen. She doesn't love. She's not capable of it. She destroys. And she will take everything you love and care about and she will break it. You have to get her out of your life. You have to. If you don't, then we are at the mercy of her. All of us. You especially. You have to see that. Please tell me that you see that. Please tell me that you will do whatever it takes to send her back to prison where she belongs. Wow, Sheila, first Taylor throwing Ridge in her face. Then you turn around and you throw Bill in Katie's face and how she passed on him and now how he's the love of her life and she is the love of his. And Katie chokes on that and then tells Bill that Sheila is incapable of love and will break everything he cares about. And if he doesn't get her out of his life, he is leaving his whole family vulnerable. And she begs him to do whatever it takes to send and Sheila back to prison. <laughs> Okay, so there you have it, your bold and the beautiful recap for Monday, January 16th, 2023. If you haven't checked out the Young and the Restless recap for today, it has been uploaded to the channel. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye.